Hey guys, welcome to this video and today I want to talk about a fan theory that has been growing in popularity for the past couple of months now. That being about the fate of the Millennium Falcon in Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker. So far, the Millennium Falcon has appeared prominently in 6 of the 10 existing Star Wars films, and even has a small cameo in Revenge of the Sith if you look in the background. So by the time the famous ship flies in Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, it will have been seen in 8 Star Wars movies total, and shockingly has never been blown up. So if The Rise of Skywalker is really going to end an era of Star Wars, many fans believe the Millennium Falcon is totally going to be destroyed. The fan theory even has a few reasons why this will happen. The first reason fans give for the Millennium Falcon being destroyed in Episode 9 is that it's the ultimate symbol of nostalgia. Kylo Ren in the past movies is all about letting old things die, and killing it if you have to, and in some ways by ending the Skywalker Saga forever. Beyond specific characters, the Millennium Falcon is a bigger representation of Star Wars nostalgia than perhaps any one specific thing. Even without Han Solo and Chewie, the Falcon communicates what Star Wars is all about, a high-tech concept with a low-tech vibe. Nothing about the tech of the Falcon makes sense, but our hearts tell us that it does. No single spaceship in a saga about spaceships comes close to it. Destroying it means Star Wars is breaking up with nostalgia, maybe forever. The second reason that they give is from an in-universe standpoint, it feels like it would be broken now anyway. Look, from a canon perspective, the Falcon was really old when it first appeared in A New Hope. If Han and Lando's ship has been kicking around since around 19 BBY, which is around the time of Revenge of the Sith, that means it's at least 52 years old by the time of The Force Awakens. Sure, if you really think about it, over the course of the years of Star Wars and canon, technology hasn't really improved that much over the course of time. But 52 years is really old for a spaceship. Then again, if we think about the Millennium Falcon like a sports car in real life, there are really old sports cars that are really fun to drive still. Still, it's not like Han and Chewie have maintained the Falcon in the same way Lando did. The fact that it's still flying at all seems to be a minor miracle. The third and last reason fans give is that it will be shocking. Now, assuming that you're still with me, if we look at past franchises like Star Trek or Doctor Who, their ships blow up all the time. But Star Wars has never really done this before. For a ship as important and as loved as Millennium Falcon, this would be new territory for them. Which is why, if and when it happens, the death of the greatest smuggling freighter in the galaxy will freak us all out more than any plot twist about Rey's parents. Now if this does happen, I want to say that I don't think I'm ready for it. For me, when The Force Awakens came out and I saw Han Solo die, it was easily one of the saddest moments in Star Wars history for me. And if the Millennium Falcon gets blown up, to me, it's an equivalent to that. Seeing something so loved, and something that has been around since 1977 when the original Star Wars came out, just blow up, to me, it would be a very emotional experience for a lot of people. Now, a majority of me really doesn't want this to happen as I don't think I'm really ready for it at all. But at the end of the day, this is just a fan theory, and I want to know what you think of this theory in the comments down below, and if you want to see more content like this one, then subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.